Tonight, claims of Iranian Americans being detained and interrogated at a U.S. border crossing here in Washington. The questions that they were being asked was essentially loyalty questions or whether they were loyal to the American government. How Customs and Border Protection is responding now to the allegations. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Sheldon. More than 60 people were reportedly detained. And now state officials and lawmakers say they are working to help the families and get answers. Congress Heaven's Michael Spears is live for us tonight in Seattle. And Michael, some people claim they were detained for up to 12 hours. Some people report being there for the holidays. Many others say they were attending a concert. But dozens of people say they were detained and questioned at the border for hours. And tonight there are concerns that this may happen again given the tensions with Iran. Stopped at the border and reportedly questioned. Dozens of Iranian Americans report spending hours answering questions about their political views and allegiances while trying to cross into Washington state from Canada at the Peace Arch border crossing. They were given an orange, orange card and told that they have to get out of their cars. The Council on American Islamic Relations for Washington, or CARE, said they started receiving reports Saturday night. Once we realized the magnitude of potentially 50 to 60 people, um, we feared the worst that this could be potentially another thing that's gonna happen all across the country. CARE said it began trying to secure the release of the families. In a now viral tweet, U.S. Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal said she was deeply disturbed by the report and that her office had been working on this all morning. Sentiments echoed by Washington's lieutenant governor, who said his office is also working to help the families. A few of the clients that we spoke to um, let us know that they arrived at the port of entry around 2 p.m. and they weren't released until 1.30 a.m. We reached out to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and in a statement, they said social media posts that CBP is detaining Iranian Americans and refusing their entry into the U.S. because of their country of origin are false. Reports that DHS has issued a related directive are also false. The statement from CBP is very vague, um, and they might not think that they're detaining people um, because they're Iranian, just like they said they weren't detaining people because they're Muslim during the Muslim ban. But we all know that that happened. In a follow-up email to Cairo 7, a spokesperson for U.S. Customs and Border Protection told us that being questioned at the border is not the same as being detained at the border. For now, we're live in Seattle. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.